Hello, everybody. This is Michael Pucciarelli, the owner of Still Life Photography and Michael Pucciarelli YouTube. And in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about several ways to use black and white techniques in Photoshop to create good black and white photographs. There are many ways to create a black and white. In the first way, I'm going to use the gradient map. And then I'm going to change the blend mode to color. And there's a lot you can do with blend modes. But I just, you know, I just did the gradient map, the gradient map adjustment layer, and then I changed the blend mode to color. There's another way to create a black and white photograph with another adjustment layer called the threshold. And then right now it's just a, it's just black and white. But then when I change the blend mode to color, so just, you know, the threshold adjustment layer, and then you just change a blend mode to color. You can also try saturation hue. Then there's another way it's called the vibrance where I zero out everything. So I, I took away the saturation, I took away the vibrance. And then if you want contrast, just get into a levels adjustment or curves and just move the middle slider. And the next technique is called the channel mixer, where one way is just to check on the monochrome. I'm going to bring up another channels mixer. You could also use the presets like black and white infrared. You can use the black and white with the blue filter. And you can make, you know, adjust the content with the constant. And then you could also use the black and white green filter. And you can just the contrast with the constant, sort of like I was doing with the levels adjustment layer. And black and white with the orange filter. Again, you just want to do the con the contrast. You just adjust the constant. So I'm using the channel mixer layer. And I'm just using the preset. You can black and white with the red filter. You can adjust the constant for contrast.
Then you can also use the black and white with the yellow filter. If you wanna work with the contrast, adjust a constant to whatever what you wanna do. And there's also another way to use the channel mixers where, first wanna just zero out the red channel, make everything else 100. Then you do the same with the other channels. You zero out the green channel. You make everything else 100. And then you work with the blue channel, or you can leave it 100 plus and zero out everything else. But I like to do it this way is zero out the blue channel. And you make everything else 100. And the last step, make sure you collect the monochrome. And then there's another technique. It's the saturation level where you go all the way to the left with the negative, but the contrast, you just work with the lightness. And there's ways you can do this in actions. I'm gonna run, I created an action with the gradient map for black and white. So I have the gradient map, adjustable layer, blend mode color. And then the black and white with the threshold, where I have the threshold adjustment layer and the color. You could use other stuff. You could use hue, but I like to just use color. And this is what the, the vibrance. where the vibrance and saturation are both negative 100. And now if I want a, a contrast, then there's the channel mixer. where you know the channel mixer, you know, you could just, for a simple black and white, you could just, you know, check off the monochrome. We can also just use the presets, the black and white infrared, the black and white with the blue filter, the black and white with the green filter, and the black and white with the orange filter, and then with the red filter and yellow filter. And then with the contrast, you just adjust a constant. Then another way to do it is the saturation. You go all the way to the left, the negative out, the hue and the saturation, then you adjust the contrast by affecting the lightness. So 
I'm going to run the actions and summarize. This is just with the gradient map. Where the blend mode is color. Was with gradient map adjustment layer. And then with the threshold. Is with the color blend mode, which you could use hue, saturation, but I use color. And this is with the vibrance, where if I wanted to add a contrast, I would have to use like a levels adjustment or a curves adjustment and just work with the middle slider, the midtones. With the, you know, with the um, channel mixer, we could just check this off. We could try the presets, or we can zero out the red and make every other channel a hundred. Zero out the green, make the red and blue a hundred. Zero out the blue and make the red and green a hundred, and then check monochrome. There's many ways to use this channel mixer layer. The last one I want to show you is how to do with the a saturation level. Okay. I just zeroed everything out, negative all the way to left. And if I want to adjust the contrast, just go to the lightness. Play around the lightness and get the effect that you like. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this recording, this webinar. If you like many more webinars like this, it's still like photography, light painting. When I mean cell life, I mean with the white plexi and black plexi table or with Photoshop and equipment. Feel free to join, feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. This is Mike Cucciarelli, owner of Still Life Photography and Michael Cucciarelli. Thank you very much for listening.